Talk Nation, Talk Nation, man. Rise up, everybody, man. Salute and blessings to everybody. Hope everybody is well. This is going to be a quick preview, man, to Jamel Herring and Shakur Stevenson, man. This upcoming, this Saturday, this fight is going to be super explosive, man. Jamel Herring, champion. Shakur Stevenson, he's trying to get that, he's trying to get that scrap. You know what I mean? He feels as though he deserves a belt. He feels as though he is in a position and at this state of his career that he should be a champion. So let's see if he brings a championship level caliber, you know what I'm saying, game plan to the ring because I truly believe that Jamal Herring and they have him the underdog in this fight, although he is the champion. Let's see what let's see let's see what happens, man. You know what I mean? Leading up to this fight, man, let me just note note a couple of things real quick. Um one thing that I didn't know about Jamel Herring that unfortunately he lost his um his baby girl to um SIDS. If you guys don't know what that means, SIDS, um, the acronym is um, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. You know what I mean? Just imagine a horror, you know what I'm saying, of your wife or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get up, you know what I'm saying? And you see your infant in the crib, unresponsive. And come to find out, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, that she passed away. That is devastating, man. Some people don't bounce back from that. And not only did Jamel Herring bounce back, he became a champion in his daughter's name. You know what I'm saying? On his daughter's birthday of all things. You know what I'm saying? So besides Jamel Herring being a veteran, salute, Semper Fi, you know what I mean? When I heard that, that took my respect for Jamel Herring to another level, to another level. So salute and continue blessings to Jamel Herring. Bless and peace to his wife, his family. You know what I mean? Because hearing that, like I said, that took my respect for him to another level. I already respected the brother as a fighter, but as a man, that is, I mean, people go through a lot out here from day to day, whether it's dealing with ter terrible people, situations, your, certain, your, your position in life at this certain point, whatever, man. You know what I mean? People have fights and battles every day, and people are losing these battles every day. You know what I'm saying? Suicide, slipping taking somebody life going to jail for the rest of their life so for those men continuing to fight not giving in not giving up you know what i mean no matter what the circumstance is i salute and i bless you all you know what i'm saying for real that's real talk now shakur stevenson man he's also he's going to be a father he's also having a baby girl you know what i'm saying so salute and blessings man to possibly the young champion you know what i mean him and his um girl on their um baby girl this do you know what i'm saying so this fight is going to be special in so many ways man because besides championships besides legacies these gentlemen are fighting for their personal legacies as men you know what i'm saying as fathers you know what i'm saying and i respect that you dig what i'm saying both of these guys two southpaws coming into the game have a lot to lose it's a lot on the line you know what i mean shakur stevenson he said a lot Jamal Heron, respect to him. He hasn't said a lot, and I like that. Because you don't got to do a lot of talking. You know what I'm saying? When that time comes for you to step in that ring, that's when it's time to back it up. Talk is cheap, baby. You know what I'm saying? People love to talk. As long as there's somebody to listen, folk always go talk. Excuse my language, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Don't let somebody dictate your life and your outcome based upon what they say about you. Because it's the reason why people talk about you. Jealousy is a dangerous thing. You know what I mean? That's the greatest or one of the greatest tools of the devil. Manipulating that seed in somebody's heart. That is jealousy. So coming into this fight, man, both of these guys are super talented. Super talented. A lot of people say that um, Shakur Stevenson, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he's not that super explosive. Fights are kind of boring. Whatever. Said the same thing about Floyd. Floyd ended his career 50-0. Half a pound, TBE, the story goes on. Now, Shakur Stevenson, very special fighter. He's quick, has good defense, has great movement, has youth on his side. I mean, he can beat Jamel Herring, hands down. Jamel Herring, veteran, season, skill, champion. You know what I mean? A lot of people, for some reason, they have him as the underdog. You know what I mean? But when he went in there, and he did his thing, people was looking at like, they were surprised that he won the fight. If you go into that gym and you put everything on the line in the gym, stepping into that ring and executing in a fight is like second nature. 
because you put the time in and you put the work in in the gym. That's what it's about. And come Saturday, we are going to see not only who worked harder, but we're going to see who wants it more. Talk Nation Stand Up is your boy. Another video coming soon, probably fight day Saturday tomorrow. Talk Nation Stand Up is your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up so YouTube can share. Peace and blessings to you all, man.